friends, it's Annie Faith. I've come to read you a story today. Would you join me? Hey, Jared. Hey, Sarai. Hey, Amber. Hey, Autumn. Hey, Jensen. I hope you're all joining me along with my friends that live in Texas and, and around here in Florida and out in Ohio. I wanted to share this story with you. This is my nephew Ethan's favorite story. It's called Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. We're gonna look and see what kind of adventure Pete has and what lesson we can learn inside this story. It has a wonderful lesson at the end of the story. They call it a moral. Would you like to hear it? Come on and get cuddled with mom or dad or grab your favorite stuffed buddy or maybe a pet friend and settle in to read this with me, okay? All right, here we go. I'm already seeing some fun things when I open the book up. I see inside the book jacket and there's Pete down in the bottom and there's lots of shoes hanging on the clothesline. That makes me kind of excited to see what's gonna happen with all of these things that I'm seeing. Oh, is it really a clothesline? I think it's not a clothesline. It actually looks like a power line. And up in the top here, I see a clue to that because there's a little bird. And if you notice right here, there's like a power box, a power box. Uncle Chris could tell us more about that. He knows all about electricity. Let's go inside and see what we see. Now, if you wanna read this for AR points at home, this is a 1.5, it's worth half a point. Let's see what happens to Pete the Cat in his white shoes. It says, I love my white shoes. I see right here on the title page. He's so excited, he's stretching. I think we call that, mm, what would be a good juicy word we could use for that? Let me think for a second. Hmm, he's flaunting his new shoes maybe? He's making sure everyone sees them, he's proud. Let's look inside. Now to our story. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. Here he is wearing his white shoes. Do any of you have white shoes like that? He's even envisioning his white shoes. See the little dots going up to his thought bubble? That shows that's what he's thinking about. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, Pete was singing. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of, <gasps> don't read it yet. Can you guess what that is? What do you think this is? Let's read, let's see. You think maybe it's a berry? <gasps> it is strawberries take my jacket off for a minute. Strawberries, what color did it turn his shoes? What do you think? What color will that turn his shoes? What do you think, Jensen? Are you listening with me? Jared and Sarai, are you listening? Let's see. <gasps> red, turned his shoes red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool, thought Pete. I know this is his thoughts again because I see his thought bubble again. Pete's thinking about, it's all good, it's cool. I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes. So Pete's gone from having white shoes, now he has red shoes. And we'll look at what matches his red shoes. He's got a red car. He's playing his guitar. There's a rhyme there as well, car and guitar. His car says, Mr. Eric. I wonder if he belongs to a Mr. Eric. We'd have to read some of his other books and find out. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of another kind of berry. Blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Do you notice I'm seeing my little yellow bird friend here? I keep seeing him. What color do you think his shoes will be? 
blue? Let's find out. <gasps> blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. Pete's having another thought in his thought bubble. I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes. He's singing again, he's just chill. He's all good with whatever color his shoes turn out to be. Notice his little friend is there again. We keep seeing that yellow friend. What's happening all around him right here? What do we see happening? What's he holding over his head? What'd you say? It's raining. I think you're right. It does look like water drops. What is this? Is this something we use when it rains? I think you're right. An umbrella, that's good. Let's see what else we have. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? What do you think? What color might he get from mud? <coughs> Excuse me. There's his yellow friend again. Kind of looks like, where is he at now? Is he somewhere new? We've been seeing lots of berries and now I see, that's right, it is a barn. A tractor, that's right, very good. Let's see what his shoes are. <gasps> Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing a song. Groovy. Kind of like when, when Annie Faith was a little girl, we used to say groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. He's drinking coffee. I've never seen a cat drink coffee, have you? I have to see if my Oreo would like coffee. I know she likes a little milk in a cup. I don't know about coffee. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. I wonder why that happened. What color were his shoes again? What color do you think his shoes will be if all of the red and the blue and the brown washed away. Why did the color wash away? Let me think. I've got stuff on my, my clothes and my skin before, and if I put it in the tub or hmm, if I take a bath, it washes away with the soap. Do you think that maybe the water and if he had soap in the tub, could that have washed the color away? You think so? I, I think I agree with you. I think we're I think you're right. I think we got something there. So what color do you think his shoes will be now? You got a thought in your head? Okay, let's see if you're right. I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> do you see that? First of all, what color are his shoes now? White back to white like in the beginning. And we're hearing squeaks. Why do we hear squeaks? Have you ever got your shoes wet before? What happened when you got your shoes wet? Yes, the water's kind of mixed in your shoes and it makes them squeak. And sometimes they even squeak on the floor if they're wet. That's happening to Pete too. The moral of Pete's story the moral is the lesson we learn. He's learned a lesson from all this, these events that have happened to him. The moral of the Pete story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and sing your song. That's a good lesson. Because it's all good. I really enjoyed that story. Did you enjoy that story with me? We learned a really good lesson today in the story of Pete the Cat and I Love My White Shoes. We learned that it doesn't matter what happens to us, it's all in how we take it. If we have a bad day or something doesn't go just as we think it should, 
we can take a moment and we can find the good and the happy times that happen in those moments as well. And it can all be good. We can work it for good. All right. I love you guys. This is Annie Faith. I'll see you again next time with a new story. Love you guys. Friends, I had so much fun reading that story to you today. Email me at AnnieFaith at Yahoo.com. Let me know what you'd love to hear me read. Also, tell me about what you're reading at home with your families. There are so many things we can share together in stories. Be sure and visit your local library this week. There are so many free books just for you waiting. And also, read together with your families. The best way to being an amazing reader is to read more. Love you guys. Bye.